right, we need some control. Yeah. Should we walk down? Why? There's a little footpath over there. Just jump over to somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take this off the. Will you keep an eye on the tripod while I go? Okay. okay. came in along here, down to that corner, sweeps back in, then cuts in and then goes to the blue boundary hope marker by the fence. The solid red posts of the building. This side of the building is the, like, the offices. The far side of the building are the fine space, so two of fine space. The fine is the pumpkin in here. There's two markers on the other side of the head, so you can have a look at the other people come in, as will uh, staff cars coming here. Staff cars will park in this area here. The fire engines will come along, turn into the appliance bay, and they will turn out onto, onto the road where the, where the the red markers down there, that, that's your old place as well. Yeah. So, and there's, and there's red markers on the other side of the house. 
in that corner over there is where the collapsible tower and the generator are so we've moved them from this side to that side so the further away from the, from the properties. We've also realigned the building as you're probably aware so you're not going to have a function to any light to the uh, houses opposite so the lights such as they are when we do go out we'll go into that field there. Still five minutes to go in each actually. Yes, <laughs> you can probably hear me clumping through the grass. Yeah, I've taken some shots of the uh, before it started. So I've got them at the horses and the dogs and what. Okay.
Okay, I'm just going to start now and I apologise that we didn't start straight away because we'd advertised it at 10.30, we had to wait to 10.30. So we've just been looking at the boundary in the meantime, okay? But good morning everyone, good my morning. name is Councillor Anita Leach and I'm the Chair of the Planning Committee. Members of the Planning Committee are here this morning following the deferral of this planning application to allow members to visit the site. The purpose of the site visit is so that members can see the planning application site for themselves and note any relevant site features such as site boundaries, relationships with adjoining properties, etc. The merits of the application must not be discussed today, nor will a decision be reached at this time. The proper forum to discuss the merits of this application is at the planning committee meeting when all information is in the public arena and members of the planning committee will debate and decide on the full proposal. In a moment I will ask the lead officer to make a very brief presentation outlining the application. <coughs> members of the planning committee may then ask the lead officer for factual clarification about the application or surrounding land, for example distances to adjoining properties or the location of parking places. The right to address the committee does not arise unless there is a qualifying petition, which we know there is in this case. And the right, this right will take place when the application is considered at the planning committee. The site visit is not an opportunity for representations to be made. If I feel that the merits of the application are beginning to be debated or presentations made, I will need to bring the site visit to a close. However, if it is appropriate, I may ask if anyone present wants to point out important or relevant site features that they believe the committee should be made aware of. If any ward councillors are present, I will ask if they have any comments, but again, these should be brief and restricted to factual comments about the site. Any comments about the merits of the application should be made when the application is reached in the committee agenda. Okay, so Matty, could we have a presentation please? Um, so this is the current proposal, and just the members' information. Sorry, can you speak up a little bit? Yeah. 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 As loud as I can speak, I'm sorry. So that's the current uh, layout. This is the application that was released. I can't hear you. Sorry, you shout loud. Sorry. Could you walk around, please, with the plan so we can all see it? Thank you. Okay, what we're saying here is this is the current application and this was the previous application. <coughs> Unfortunately, the member does have uh, a problem with his voice this morning, so, uh, you know, you have to bear with us over it. So this is the current application and that was the original application. I can't see the other one. Sorry, you're going into debate and as I said to you in the briefing, you can't go into any debate. I will have to bring the site visit to a close if we enter into the discussion. What is the differences between the two proposals? Can you please listen and then we might find out. Don't ask questions at the moment. Please help the officer to do his job. Oh dear. Please be quiet. Don't do that again. Planning permission is sought for the erection of a single storey, two bay community fire station, incorporating operational and welfare accommodation, officer and meeting space, external drill and training facilities associated car parking. This is a revised application following an earlier refused application in December last year. A number of changes have been made and these include a 30% reduction in the developed site area. Can you please be quiet? I'm trying to do the presentation. I can't speak any louder. I'm going to be confusing you. It's for your benefit. The other ladies present it. We, can I just say that the, we, we do have all the information in our briefing papers and this is for the benefit of, of the committee 
Yeah. You know, the yeah. fact that you're actually here now is, you know, that's that's yeah, your you can do that if you want to. But this I know that, you, but you know. this is for the benefit of the of the committee. If we can't hear the officer because you're talking, then we're not going to get the full story behind this. And it's absolutely important that we do. I understand that. I understand I understand the importance to you as individuals. I do fully understand this, but this site visit is for the purpose. We can oh, hear you. Can you read it out for us? So the site area has been reduced by 30%. You won't understand it. So the site area has been reduced by 30% as opposed to what was previously um, proposed. The building has also been reduced by 12.5%. So the footprint now proposed is 12.5% smaller than what was proposed um, at the end of last year. The building, so um, this length of the building here, so this has been reduced by 7.6 metres. It's also been pushed further into the site away from the boundary with Woodbank Close. It's been reorientated onto the site so that the, the front um, elevations face in that direction rather than onto the properties on Silvermass Road. That's going to um, make a difference to the noise. There's been the, <laughs> Um, and our view. <laughs> the generator and sprinkler, which was previously here, so in that corner of the site, has now been relocated here, so it's over in that corner of the site. Um, the retractable training tower, which was previously um, here, so at the back of the site, has been moved over to the other boundary over there. I'll be able to watch them train. So um, nice. there's also been um, significantly more um, boundary uh, landscaping oh, proposed. This part of the site has been reduced so that the extent of hard landscaping is no longer there. Um, access comes here so the, um, the fire engines will come up here and through. This is the operational bay. This is the well, these are the welfare areas. Um, and then the, the other ch significant change is that the car parking, which was previously along this boundary with Woodpecker Close, has been moved over here and here. And you can see it parked out on the side of the blue, the side of blue, um, blue lines. So that, they're, they're essentially the, the main changes to the site. Will there still be access for the public onto the field? Can I just ask you, um, if I'm going to ask the committee if they've got anything that they want to ask first of all. Then I'm going to ask the ward councillors if they've got anything that they want to uh, comment on. And then I will ask if there's anything of significance that you should point out. I can't get into the debate about it, but if there's something you want to p point out, then please raise your hands and I'll come to you. Okay. Okay. Uh, can I go to the committee, please? Are there any comments or questions for the officer? <coughs> What's the difference uh, now between the building and the building was, as was, and as they're presenting now? What's the difference? How much have they taken off, basically, between the, the difference? The distance. You're talking about the distance between, between the building now as it was previously. From, from those the building or the building. So, in terms of building. <laughs> In, in terms of these properties here on Woodpecker Close, the distance between uh, the distance now is anything between 35 metres and 40 metres away, whereas previously those distances were um, between 30 and 35 metres. So the presence of this fire station sorry, sorry, will still sorry. dominate this field. Sorry, yeah. sorry. Can I ask you quiet? Steve? Yeah, I think I've got, I'm asking the same question as the, the residents asked, so, so that, that might get it at full end. The, the site will be boarded. Will, can, can we, in time for the meeting, have some guarantee or some assurance that there will still be informal access to the rest of the site for, for the general public? I think is the question that was being asked. Thank you. If, if we haven't got the answer now, then it'd be nice to have on the, on the night. Okay, any of the committee got any other questions for the officers? Gina? Yeah, you mentioned a retractable tower. Can you just give us a bit more information on that? It's not... It's the height of the tower. Yeah. When it's down four metres when it's down. So, and how big is the building? 13 metres when it's... 
that will be no bigger than the building when it's down. When it's down, that's right. Right, and it'll only go up when it's needed for training purposes. There's a condition on it that says it needs to be down. Right, thank you very much. It's not the only live burning. Is it possible to ask the proportional time of that? Can I, can I just ask um, the committee, did anybody want to ask a question about the time for the hydraulics aspect of it? Do we know what? Do we know that that information, how long it takes to rise and fall? It's, it's not takes, how long will it be? Okay. What they said was it's it would probably be erected about three times, <laughs> three times or three times a week for training purposes, yeah. or more in the event of need, but average is probably okay. about two to three times a year. Okay, so, so what we're saying here is that it will probably be used three times a week, and uh, what we're going to try and find out is what time it takes to rise and fall. Now, okay? how, lo we'll now, how long? Now, how long is it going to be up? When it's up, how long will it be up? It's for up for training. To down. It's up for training yeah. purposes. Okay. So is it an eight-hour day? Is it an eight-hour day? For okay. Now? Any other questions from the committee? Okay. Okay. Lord Councillor. Yeah. Thanks, Chair. Uh, despite the alterations, can the ask the, the committee? Just pay close attention to the line that the, is shown now by the red and white, which is the perimeter, that distance to the houses. Yeah. 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 Okay, and just to be clear, um, can, can we just, um, sorry, the representative from the uh, fire brigade? Right, okay, just to be clear, the red and white boundary line is the boundary of the actual area itself and the blue the security fence the blue, the blue yes. the red and white tape but the it's boundary too close to the right I, sorry, sorry we can't go into debate about it and the blue lines are yeah, blue lines are the site boundary. Okay, I know you can tell me, but I just want to repeat it so everybody... Blue posts, blue posts, the red and white tape. Next to the blue boundary of the site. Okay. And the red posts are the building, okay? Yes, please. Yeah. Thank you, Chair. Um, I'd like to just have some clarification on the on the um, this boundary here, which is uh, Matthew Adams and the Constables and Constables. Um, the car park has been altered. Uh, there was previously a service road, I believe, that came in on, on this boundary. That's is that no longer there? The fire, fire engine is coming in on this side. So it is there. So is, will that be used just for fire, just for the fire engines or for vehicles? Make sure to look at this and see what they're doing. Right. So, so, so you haven't moved the vehicles away from that boundary then? You haven't moved the car park in the car park? The car park, you know, but we've still got the service road with vehicles going in and out. Can I, can I ask you a question? Uh, I think just, it's relevant. Just, just, just one second for yeah. me. Can I just ask the ward councillors, are there any other questions or points you want to make? Can the planners have any idea about whether there could be controlled burning on the site? Has that been asked for? The, there's, or would it be permitted? There's a condition on it. Is there a condition for it? Um, okay, is there anybody that would like to point out anything of significance? <coughs> Not debate. No, see, okay. I think Gentlemen well, obviously we're increasing the significant amount of hard standing now compared to uh, the ground. When, so rainwater obviously now just soaks into the ground. There's a significant amount of flooding that happens yes. on, that, on that area there. Yeah. What's been taken into account for drainage from the hard standing onto that area? Um, th there are a number of conditions with, within the planning application which covers about the drainage aspect of it and that will ensure that the drainage aspect of it is covered off before any planning takes place. Right, okay. One thing that is going to happen is you're going to lose all this. Look at the scenery. Has anybody got souls? This is where we live. This is what no, we no, have to look out on to. I'm sorry, we are going into debate. Know, you, will have, you, will have, saying, you will have your right to make your points at the planning committee. You will have the right to do that. Can I just take this lady here? Whose decision was excuse last me, time, excuse not me. I have a very, very um, pertinent question to ask. In the event of a fire in West Kirby or its environs, and there are farm animals on the lane, or there are farm equipment, mm. or it's bumper to bumper as it is twice yes. and yes. sometimes yes. three times a day. There is no way 
any intelligent person could look at those lanes and think yeah, you can get a fire engine past yeah. there yeah. and cattle on oncoming okay. traffic. It's we, impossible. We, okay, I, 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 I take your point. Uh, it is yeah. also included within our papers that the farmer has raised his concerns about Thank that. You. So we do Good. have that information. Thank you. Can you say this lady here? Did you say the generator, the generator so, going Sorry, on the I side. can't hear. I can't hear. Sorry, no, I can't hear. This lady's going to speak here. Just tell me where the generator is being sighted now, please. Over there. Over there. Yes. The, ge the generator and the sprinklers. The sprinklers, is it, of the tower? Yes. Over there. So I live right here. So I live right here. So basically, the cars and the fire engines are still going to be coming in this side, right past the bungalow. Through the service road. Oh, lovely. Okay, thank you. The gentleman here in blue. Yes, good. If you look at a lot of the plans and the illustrations, it shows the building uh, in a nice dip, of like a little ravine, where, if you can actually point out, we're on top of a hill. That's where that's where the fire station will be, and also with the engines come up the uh, service road. Obviously, they're going to be climbing a hill, mm. using a fair few revs for the noise as well for the bungalows. Yeah. Our, pl our, pl Plus our planning papers do say to us that it will be set lower. Okay. <laughs> well, that, well, hang on. Sorry, just just to add on to that though, if if the committee could actually look at the view from the road approaching our community, although it's obviously a single story building it's a single story in the same way as b and q is a single story yeah it's I not that's just, that's what I joe the, public the, the whole, the whole story. purpose of the yeah. site visits yeah. there is so that we exactly. can actually see the surroundings we, could that we, can, we will also be looking well. at the road network as well okay yeah. can i take this gentleman <coughs> do you want to speak uh, it was something that's going to be discussed uh, at the on thursday night this gentleman was telling me about the, the way 75 percent Fallouts are, are in Upton. Yes. Anyway, yes. And so it's it's like a balance. The balance only 25 are in, yep. like historically been over uh, here. Okay, then we'll be so we are debating it now. Just it's just be can, can I just be can I just be clear, people, uh, uh, of those of are here? Can I just be clear? I want you to point out factual information, not debate it. Okay. So I'll take a couple more questions yeah, from people. Right. Well, I think I've taken one from yourself. Yeah. I um, yeah. Can, yeah. I, can yeah. I just yeah. take this lady yeah. here? Thank you. Uh, right, I'm just going to take about two more questions because we do need to move on. Okay. Hello, I know it's an old one. Sorry, I can't hear you. The boundary here. Yes. Bungo, this lady here, with the, she's going to have direct view of it. And I think the whole age deserves peace and respect. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 For us three over there. Okay, okay. Can, I, can I just take the same thing? And you, here? Chris. This information is factual. Yeah. It's come from the personnel uh, from someone who worked at Upton Fire Station. And he told me that the equidistant place between Upton Fire Station and West Kirby Fire Station is Greasby Brook. Yeah. Uh, so, why are we considering now a brand new fire station simply, merely 1.3 miles? Down the road, from perfectly functional. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you for your comment. We, we, as I said, we are straying into uh, into the merits of the application now. I'm just going to take the, the um, committee member, and then we're going to have to move on. Can you ask the private <laughs> timing, blue light to get into Hoyle, Mel, and other areas. I don't think they've actually done a test with it. Here, here. Yeah. Sorry, but I, 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 I don't think we're going to be able to do that now because we, we haven't had the relevant pieces. So we need to get married to the chair, but I can ask the question of have they done it or are they just getting out the necessary multiply this by that, whatever. Yeah. Have they actually done a time to multiply the blue light? Here, here. 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 Here,
Yes, what happened to my question no. about the access onto the public, onto the field when the fire station, if it's built? I, I raised that question on your behalf, oh, madam. Sorry. We'll have to pack something. Sorry, I can't answer that question. I didn't hear tonight. you, sorry. Okay. okay. Can I just ask what's happening to the bridge? Nothing. Nothing at all. Do you not think it there might have been an idea to visit the site during peak traffic times? Yes. 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 Um, I can assure you, sir, that um, I've been at uh, several times of peak times for this area. Not good. Okay, and, and so have some of my colleagues. Okay, well, thank you very much for attending today. I will see you on Thursday. Sorry, can I, I just ask all the plans now on the web for us to view before?